As I mentioned in a previous video, I moved recently and recreating this studio in a smaller space was a little bit challenging, especially because one of the desks I had in that other office wouldn't fit in here. Thankfully, the people over at Motion Gray sent me a brand new stand-up desk and all they wanted me to do is to share it with you and tell you what I think about it. Now, stand-up desks aren't necessarily new. They've been around for a while. It's just that decades ago, they used to be crank operated, which it's a bit last century. Nowadays, these desks are electronic, which is nice. This desk right here starts at 60 centimeters, which is pretty close to the floor, and it goes all the way up to 125 centimeters. Now me, I'm not a super tall guy. That's pretty high for me. The desk obviously comes disassembled, so a little bit of ikea is necessary to get it all up and running. And understandably, the parts are a little heavy because of the motors and everything. So you're probably gonna need some help putting this together. Another thing to keep in mind is that the tabletop isn't pre-drilled. So you're going to need some power tools to set this up. Once you have a buddy and a decent set of power tools, you should have this up in, I don't know, about 30, 40 minutes. Mind you, it took me a little bit longer because I was recording the whole thing to show you. Now, I've been using stand-up desks for a while, both at home and in a corporate setting. And I gotta tell you, it's one of those things you never think about. And once you've had it, it's hard to go back to the way things were before you start wishing every desk around you could do the same thing because it has a lot of different usabilities. And it's funny because I don't have children myself. And as I was testing this desk and I was having, you know, go down as far as it goes, I kept thinking, you know, this would be a great idea, something I never considered before, for a desk that is used in a shared space where you have adults and children using the same area, like a game room or something like that, because at its lowest level, it's perfect for kids. One of the things I appreciate about a desk like this is that if you're doing a task that involves getting up from your computer a bunch to go check, I don't know, inventory or whatever, you're going back and forth between, like here in my studio, I'm writing a script, then I'm coming back down to this area here to set up the lights and the camera, then I go back to the computer. All this back and forth gets a little old. So if you're doing something that requires using a computer, but you're also constantly moving, it's kind of annoying to sit down and get up constantly. It's, it's nice, it's a little, quality of life kind of thing. But another thing I really enjoy about this is using this desk to shoot content. When I need to get B-roll for like a console that I'm showing off or a tablet, a phone, what have you, it's nice being able to get the table all the way up to my eye level and hold this in a more comfortable way. I feel like sometimes when I'm reviewing things on a regular desk, I'm hunching over a lot. It's just, I'm looking down a bunch and it's really nice to be able to be, you know, st standing up and I have it right in my hands. My arms are resting against the table and it's just, I feel like I can shoot for hours like that and I don't get as tired. So that goes for anything that you're doing where you feel like you're looking down a bunch so that could be anything really so I think I mentioned arts and crafts or if you're doing a lot of paperwork and you're constantly looking down it makes a big difference trust me now one other small added benefit is the fact that you do burn more calories standing up than you do sitting down it's also better for your posture and your circulation now don't go thinking that just because you're going to start doing your work standing up that's going to do wonders it's going to revolutionize your health you still got to watch what you eat you still got to be more active but it's that extra little thing you're not going to you don't have to sit for hours if you're in front of a computer for hours if you're doing your taxes for hours or what have you whatever you're doing on a desk can be improved by standing up sometimes. And the, the, the beauty of it is that you don't have to stand up the entire time. You can stand up for a while just to stretch your legs. Sometimes if I'm editing video for hours on end, sometimes I just feel like walking around, moving around, just stand up for a second. Sometimes I go to like, get a drink of water. I'm not even thirsty. I just don't wanna be on this chair the entire time. So that is nice. I'm working on a book right now and same deal. If I'm gonna be writing and doing a bunch of research, I don't wanna be sitting down this entire time. It's just nice. It, it, it breaks up the monotony of the day, really. Oh, the pizza's here. Wait a second. I'm talking about the health benefits of this desk. And I have the pizza guy. As I was saying, I really believe a desk like this is a nice complement to really any setup you got. Whether you're working a bunch on your computer, you're doing some paperwork, you're doing arts and crafts, 
For game night, this is this is something I did with a previous model, the one that wouldn't fit in this new studio. In a previous apartment, I would have game nights on the stand-up desk, and then once we got like depending on the game, you're sitting for an extended period of time. I just tell my friends, hey, you want to like raise this thing up so we don't you know stretch our legs a little bit, but we want to keep playing. It's always a nice little like they're like this thing goes up, like how? Show me, and then I you know press buttons. And speaking of buttons, let's talk about the interface here a little bit. It has seven buttons. Some of them are pretty self-explanatory. The up arrow will make the desk go up. The down arrow will make the desk go down. And then you have these buttons here, one through four. So you can pre-configure these to set heights, whatever you prefer. I always had one be the lowest setting. You can just press any button and make it stop. Four will be the highest setting in this case. Again, uh, lowest setting will be 60 centimeters. Highest setting will be 125 centimeters. And then the buttons here in the middle, I have for, you know, I set them to, for, for different heights. So the way to set this up is very, very simple. All you have to do, let's see, right here, I have it at 100 centimeters, one meter. All I gotta do is press the M button here and then press a button like say two. So now two is 100 centimeters. So if I hit one, it'll go all the way down to 60. I'll just pause it here. And then if I hit two, it'll go back up to 100. Couldn't be easier. So that is quite nice. And then as I mentioned, for me personally, I enjoy being able to take a little break from sitting down. Like it's funny because all this time I've been talking about standing up a little bit and now I'm, I'm wondering why didn't I shoot that over there? Cause I could be standing up. Like now I'm kind of tired of sitting down. It's nice, it breaks up the monotony of sitting down to do your work constantly. There's, you know, a slight health benefit. You're not so sedentary because now at least you're standing up. You could combine something like this, and this is something I've done in the past, with a small portable treadmill that goes under the desk. So that's nice. And whether you're a creative type or you want a desk that you can share with your children, you can play together and you have it all the way down and you can raise it back up to do, you know, grown-up stuff. There's, there's a lot of different use cases for something like this. As always, there's gonna be links down below if you wanna go check out their store. I thank the guys over at Motion here because this actually solved a real problem for me. I wouldn't be able to bring my old desk here and I didn't wanna give up on this lifestyle, if you will, where I can do my work both sitting down and standing up. Anyway, what do you think? As always, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer as many as I can down there. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done. <laughs>